In this video, I'm gonna show you how to bend perspective and create 3D landscapes like this. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Druel here. And as you can see, this is the final output. Now, when you first look at this effect, it kind of looks really crazy. But once you break it down, it's actually really simple to create. So first of all, I'm gonna go and use this photo of this beach and then also photo of this toy boat now toy boat is optional like only if you want to add it it's not compulsory so after that uh, I'm, I'm gonna go and unlock my background so double click here unlock it now first we need to make copy of this image the one that we will flip so go and press ctrl j so we have a copy now just simply double click on the name and rename it to something like flip then uh, we are going to flip it now to flip it simply press ctrl t right click and select 90 counterclockwise so first of all i'm gonna go and put my image here make sure that this aligns at the edge as you can see here it doesn't go outside or it's inside something like that exactly in the place after that right click here and then select flip vertical so it's basically upside down then go and confirm it so the setup is ready now we don't need this unnecessary area so you can simply crop it so select your crop tool uh, now before you crop it make sure that delete pixel is off because in case you want to experiment or you want to use different parts of image you have everything okay so simply just go and crop it so this looks nice then go and confirm it now first thing we need to do is make a cut uh, so to make that cut uh, like from this corner to this i'm gonna select my polygon tool so right click and select a polygon lasso tool then do a click here from this corner to drag it and put it on this corner like this then on the outside just finish the selection and to end it just simply double click and you have the selection after that just simply go and click on your layer mask and the basic effect is kind of ready but don't stop the video okay like it's not even half of it there are a lot of things that you need to take care of uh, for example right now we can see that we just simply flipped the image upside down we can see the mirroring like the cloud mirroring and everything is just ah uh. so to give it a little bit more variety uh, we're gonna go and adjust this image and also i need that foreground here as well uh, so First of all unlink the image from here then activate the image then select your move tool then hold your shift key and drag the image upwards so i think i'm gonna go and keep it somewhere around here this looks really nice but also make sure that this thing here this also matches so to do that you can simply use your arrow key and move your image around so i think uh, at this point this looks really nice and here as you can see it's kind of a mess so you don't have to worry about it too much and we will also look at it from distance so everything kind of looks mushy and together so that's not a problem the problem is the sky because it's like really harsh line so to fix that it's actually really easy just uh, click on your layer mask here then grab your brush tool and then also make sure that you have white color here and the opacity is 100 percent then on the layer mask just simply go and paint it like this so we are basically blending sky of this photo with this photo it's not a big deal okay just make sure that you don't take out this cloud as well so in case you paint too much and you want to fix something just simply change to black color and then you can you know erase it back And also no matter how hard you try you will have little bit of bits here and there as you can see and also the blending is not very good so to fix that first of all go and create new blank layer and just name it you know uh, sky fix so then select your brush tool and change the opacity to somewhere on like 50 60 percent then make your brush a little bit bigger right click make sure hardness is zero percent then when you hold your alt key the color picker tool will like show up then you pick up a color that's near your blending here then you just paint it over like this then you pick up a color from nearby and then you paint it again now this can take a little bit trial and error and also some practice so don't worry about it if you don't get it uh, correct in first try then also i'm going to zoom in and also add a little bit of blending here as well 
uh, and also I'm gonna go and increase the opacity a little bit because I don't want anything here on this edge and if you're really good with painting you can directly paint with the colors and you won't have to mess around in layer mask so it's completely up to you whatever approach you like so now to fix this one as you can see I painted a little bit too much on the horizon so simply get your brush sorry eraser tool uh, so take your eraser tool right click make sure hardness is like 50 60 percent then just simply erase it from here and boom it's gone so this is done now one big another problem we have is that the edge here it's really sharp and it doesn't look very good so to fix that simply just click on the layer mask here then go to filter blur and gaussian blur now the gaussian blur depends on resolution of your image uh, i think 3.7 looks good and hit ok so the basic setup is ready now we will add in some shadows and highlights to give it more depth so to do that we can actually use the selection that we have already done to do that make a copy of this flip layer just simply press ctrl j double click on this and rename it reference so i'm just going to type in ref for the shortcut so this is the image that we will use as reference let me show you what i mean so we have this reference image right now go and put it under your layer zero because we don't need to see it we just need the layer so now activate the layer mask of this reference layer right click and select apply layer mask so now if i turn off everything we just have this little bit triangle which is perfect for what we need so now turn everything back on and let's add the shadows so create new blank layer and rename it to shadows then uh, select your brush tool and make it a little bit bigger and since i want them really soft right click and make sure hardness is zero percent and also make sure opacity is not too much somewhere on like 10 to 15 percent is more than enough so 15 percent is nice then as you can see we created this reference layer reference layer uh, so we're gonna use it hold your control key and click on the thumbnail of this layer so we have selection now all you have to do is paint on the shadow layer so when you're at the bottom make the shadows a bit dark oops <laughs> we have sky blue color shadows are black so select black color and then paint in here like this as you can see if it goes outside don't worry about it too much so just simply paint then uh, make your brush a little bit bigger now on the top side i don't want it that dark so i'm gonna go and change the opacity to even lower like five six percent then paint in again like this okay so that's good then go to select and deselect and we have this really nice shadow ready but uh, there is also a little bit darkness on the buildings and sky because we painted with really soft brush so to fix that simply just select your uh, brush sorry eraser tool right click eraser and then just erase it directly so now as you can see this is with the shadow this is without the shadow so it gives it a little bit more depth now we're gonna do the same thing for the highlights but highlights will be on top side so let's go and create new blank layer and rename it to highlights now just like the last time let's create the selection so hold your control key and click on the thumbnail of this reference layer so we have the selection but we actually need to paint outside so go to select and then go to inverse so we have outside area selected then uh, since it's highlights i'm gonna also change my color to white and for this i'm gonna keep my sorry activate my brush tool and as you can see last time we had the opacity of like six or ten percent for the shadows but this time i'm gonna actually keep it somewhere around like 50 60 percent i'm gonna show you reason why so uh, to do the highlights it's actually really easy simply just do a click here then hold your shift key and then do a click here so you will have this really straight white line you can do it manually but this just will save you a lot of time then on the corner just paint it a little bit manually then again do a click here hold your shift key and do a click here move it around then again hold shift key and click here so we have really solid highlight on the edge then go to your select and deselect because we don't need the selection after that go to blending mode of your highlight layer and change it to overlay so we can see a little bit of ocean through the highlights and it also looks more contrasty it's still too much though 
so for that uh, i'm gonna go to my opacity and change it to like 50 percent or something like that 40 50 percent and also at the corner i think we need a little bit more so i'm gonna paint manually okay so let's turn on and off the highlights so this is without the highlights and this is with the highlights and now the both of them so this is without shadows and highlights and this is with the shadows and highlights so all the background work is done and now we can add in the ship so for the ship i'm gonna use photo of this toy ship that i found on event art and the great thing is the background is already cut so you don't have to remove it so after that select your move tool uh, and let's take it out now select your photo from here and drop it in this file then close it okay so we have the ship here now you have two options um first of all let's make it smaller a little bit so press ctrl t hold your shift key and make it smaller so you have two options you can either put the ship here which is normally you know uh, doesn't look that exciting or you can put the ship here so right click here and then select 90 counterclockwise and then put the ship here now it's still too big okay so i think here it kind of looks nice uh, and the ship is actually as i said is completely optional so if you're a beginner you can simply skip this portion and that's fine so uh, now the ship looks okay but we need to add in some shadow to give it you know make it look more grounded so to create the shadow simply first of all let's rename this layer one to ship okay so to add in the shadow simply create new layer and rename it to ship shadow and since it's a shadow put it under the ship select your brush tool and make sure we have black color here then you can just simply directly paint it here since it is really small you have to you don't have to worry about too much about the details of the shadow as long as there is dark patch here you're good to go so i'm gonna keep it like 70 80 percent and then paint it like this uh, then select your eraser tool so here's the eraser right click make sure our hardness is like 20% uh, or 15% that's enough then start erasing it like this erase it from the distance and make the brush a bit bigger so as you can see now we have kind of shadow and we also have to blend it a little bit so simply just reduce the opacity to like 70-80% and that looks nice you can also add some shadows on top of the ship so for that uh, create new blank layer on the ship like on top of the ship layer then double click and rename it to okay after that uh, select your brush tool now since it's on top uh, reduce the opacity to like uh, maybe 20 percent then you can just uh, paint on the ship like this So this can give a little bit more depth and you can also reduce the opacity of this one as well. Okay, so the ship is done. Now we can simply group it. So select the ship shadow, hold your shift key and then select the top layer. Then press control G. So entire ship is in a group, then rename it to ship. Now take this group and put it under your shadows. So the ship is also affected by, you know, all the lighting that we did in the shadows and highlights. So make sure that your ship layer is under your shadows. We're good. Okay, now let's do some color correction. Uh, and it's the easy peasy part. Doesn't take more than two minutes. So create new adjustment layer. Then first of all, I'm going to select curves. In the curves, I'm going to make it a little bit brighter, not too much. And then maybe a touch darker from here. And now I'm going to go and lift up my shadows a little bit uh, to fade them. Uh, I think somewhere around here looks nice. After that, go to your blues and in the blues, I'm going to go and keep it somewhere around here. Uh, add a little bit of blue uh, yellows and then also add a little bit of blue. Uh, so this is just as typical color correction as it gets. So there's nothing crazy about it. So this is without the curves. This is with the curves. Now I'm going to fade out the image even a little bit more. So for that, create new adjustment layer and then select a solid color. In the solid, select almost black color, not the black, almost black. So for this, I think uh, somewhere around 1616 is good. 
uh, hit OK. Then go and change the blending mode of this layer to exclusion. So as you can see now the sunlight doesn't look so harsh and the image looks you know a bit softer. Okay and now for the final layer go to your adjustments and I'm gonna select vibrance and add a lot of color to the image uh, somewhere around like 70-80% and then go and close it. So as you can see this is without the color correction and this is with the color correction. It kind of gives the image you know wholesome feeling. So that's it and this is the final output and as you can see it's not very difficult to create this effect and I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in comment section below. So till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop.